Hi, welcome to your new Union Hall website tool. I'm Chris Tengott and I'm with the AFL-CIO uh, Digital Strategies Department. I'm going to just quickly remind you how to log into your new Union Hall website. There's two convenient ways. If you remember the URL of your website, simply scroll to the bottom of your page, uh, your website page, and there'll be a little login option. If you click that, it'll bring you to the login page. If you can't remember, especially in the beginning, what your URL is to your website, you can always type in unionhall.aflcio.org. And it'll, again, bring you to the login page. Now, unfortunately, this is not the login page because I, I'm already logged in and I have a couple additional pages that I belong to. But once you are logged in, you'll notice um, up in the upper right-hand corner will be the, your name, and you can even upload an image of yourself if you, or some icon if you want to. You can edit your profile here. You can especially change uh, your password, which um, in the beginning will send you an email with a link, uh, and you can log in. But once you log in, you should really change your password to something uh, that's uh, personal to you that you can remember. You can always log out here, and I highly recommend always logging out when you're done because this is your public website. And um, there's also some additional information like settings, activity, uh, space and groups, which right now are really sort of the same thing. If you want to add another administrator, you simply come over here, and I showed you this earlier, but I'll show you one more time. Um, you can come to the little uh, spoke and come down to Manage Users. And click Add User. Right here I can see who's already an, a user of my site. Jeff is an administrator, and so is the T1 admin. But I can add additional administrators. I simply click Add User. I give them a username, and I always remind people to try to use something that's logical, like C, like the first and last name, the first initial last name, or first and last name, but something consistent so that uh, if people forget, it's easy to remember because uh, it's similar to how you do everyone else in the office. You add their email address, and then make sure you choose Make Admin. And then when, once you click Add, it'll shoot them an email with all their login information so they can log in for the first time. When they log into their site, they're going to see this as well. And just as a reminder, you might want to gently remind them to make sure they change their password. And that concludes the um, admin and login uh, setup information. Thanks for taking our training.